What's going on everyone? This is the Spagmeister, and welcome to the second video in my Halo 2 Anniversary Legendary Walkthrough. On this episode, I'll be covering the fourth mission of the campaign, Outskirts. Any idea what it means? Dear humanity, we regret being alien bastards. We regret coming to Earth. And we most definitely regret the core just blew up our raggedy ass fleet. Hoorah! Regret is a name, Sergeant. The name of one of the Covenant's religious leaders, a prophet. He's on that carrier and he's calling for help. <laughs> Immediate. Grid Kilo 2-3 is hot. Recommend mission abort. Roger, Recov. It's your call, Sarge. We're going in. Get tactical, Marines! Master Chief, get aboard that carrier. Secure the Prophet of Regret. This is the only place on Earth the Covenant decided to land. That Prophet is going to tell us why. When you enter the courtyard, go ahead and target the grunts and jackals that are on street level. Once you take care of all the enemies outside, there will be a small group waiting in this building. After you clear out the building, come outside and take a position behind one of these crates. And you can target all three snipers from this position. And for most of this defense, you'll have reinforcements that'll spawn at street level, and then you'll have the occasional sniper that'll spawn somewhere on the rooftops. Just listen in for where these snipers are before you step out of cover. About a few waves in, you'll have some jackals that'll exit from where we started the mission. And if you can get a grenade in a really good spot, you can wipe out at least a couple of them at a time. Right after the wave of jackals, you'll have the drones that'll spawn in over this gate. And this is the only wave where you won't have to deal with an elite. If you eventually find yourself running low on ammo for the BR, there's a few packets up on this roof.
As you're playing through this part, just keep in mind when you're dealing with the snipers that they're not always going to spawn in the exact locations as I'm dealing with them in. When Johnson calls in the Phantom, that'll mark the second to last wave of Covenant for this particular area. In this wave, you'll have about a mixed group of elites and grunts. One of the elites will be a zealot, and as long as you keep your distance on him, he won't be a big problem. And right after that wave, you'll just have some jackals from the same location as before. My girl's a little big for that courtyard, Sergeant. I see a good LZ on the other side of these buildings. Meet you there, over. Before you leave the area, make sure to grab a hold of Johnson's sniper and switch to plasma grenades. Hunters. Stand back, Let the out, sure. Now fighting the hunters is pretty much similar to how it works in Halo C, except you use a grenade to stun them. Second squad, this is Cortana. What is your status? Over. We're operational, ma'am. Barely. Our pilots didn't make it. Find a hole. Stay put. We'll come to you. As you make your way around this corner, make sure to have your sniper at the ready to take care of the jackal sniper. And then you can use grenades to take care of these guys or go for headshots. Sergeant, I need you on that bird. Ma'am? My pelicans are going to start airlifting armor and reinforcements into the city. They'll need an escort that isn't afraid of a little hostile ground fire. Understood. I'll keep an eye on him. Chief, good luck. Before you make your way into this next section, what I like to do is trade out these Marines' weapons with the any sort of sniper that you can find. If you hop up to this location, you'll find another sniper rifle as well as a couple of ammo packets. And I would recommend picking up all of it before you move on. As you enter this section, there will be four snipers that will be looking over this area. And what you want to do is try to target them right away. There will also be some drones and a couple more snipers looking over this alley, but they're in more obscure areas, so you don't have to target them right off the bat. Once it seems clear of the drones, creep your way around this corner to take care of that sniper. Just wait for your vehicle to turn red, and then you can advance forward a little bit. At this point, you'll trigger two or three invisible elites to spawn once you come up to that crate. Sometimes these guys will spawn in different locations, so just keep a good eye out for them. These guys will most likely wipe out your marines.
You'll know it's clear once you get a checkpoint. And then finally, don't forget about this sniper. If you don't see him right away, sometimes it works to open fire. If it still doesn't look like he appears, perhaps your teammates would have taken care of him already. But yeah, if there's usually a six sniper that'll be located right around that spot. What you'll want to do before you head down this alley is to trigger the checkpoint and then come back to this raised platform to take care of these snipers. Drop the shot on that first one and then another one will appear on this walkway. But if you go for his leg or lower torso, you can take him out in two shots. And then you'll have a third sniper looking down at you. Just from the same spot as the first one. Up in this little notch there will be one more sniper and one grenade will take care of him. What's going to happen as you're in this alley is you'll have multiple waves of grunts led by an elite. And this ends up being a really good spot to hold out against them. These guys will play it aggressive and come to you. You can either use a beam rifle or a plasma pistol to take care of the elites. Whichever method works best for you. I think for this particular section there will be eight different waves of these enemies. Once it looks like you've taken care of all those reinforcements, come to the end of this alley and there will be an elite zealot that will drop down from the roof ahead. And you can just plasma combo him. And then you can use this opportunity to run back and pick up any ammo that you can find. 
If you happen to be running low on ammo for the sniper, there is one provided over in this bombed out building, as well as a couple of ammo packets. Of course, if you have an additional sniper on hand, or if you want to use your standard sniper, what you want to do is come behind this white truck and aim up here. Usually there's a sniper positioned up on this spot. If you don't see him, open fire just to draw him out, and then peek out of cover to headshot him. And that's the last sniper that will give you any serious trouble for this mission. Although there's going to be a few, I want to say three more. If you come up here to the top of this building and you take a position in this hole, you you can take out the two grunts pretty quickly and also plasma combo the elite rather than having to waste your sniper on him. Crash site's on the other side of this hotel, Chief. Covenant are crawling all over it. Follow me. As you make your way down this hall, just run back as soon as you see the plasma rifles being fired off in the distance, and just snipe the elites. As you exit the hotel, go ahead and take care of the two grunts just outside, and then run back in and take cover from this incoming phantom. This dropship will deploy some more grunts and elites for us. And this spot works pretty well for taking them all out. A friendly war dog will show up shortly after you take care of most of these enemies. And what you want to do is you can try to snipe the elites off their ghosts, which is a little bit easier said than done. But by doing this, you can easily protect the war dog. Concentration of Covenant troops is directly below the area. I don't think they want you to get on board. Sometimes there will be some reinforcements over by this pelican, other times there won't be. Oh man, I love the beach. I hope you packed a suit, mate. Cut the chatter. We got trouble. Now the reason I dropped the bow rifle for the plasma rifle is so I can easily trade weapons with my uh, passenger later on. Now I want to do that after I take out the two snipers in this section. So what you can do is try to take out any elites that are over by the AA gun. And also target the sniper that's in the watchtower. Otherwise, just make sure that your marine doesn't get too far with the war dog. Ah. Yeah. All right. The easiest way to take out the ghost if you're using the sniper, if the ghost is driving head on, what you can do is aim slightly above the uh, shield of the vehicle. And you can actually land a headshot by targeting the shields of the elite rather than aiming directly for the head.
Just be aware that sometimes another elite in the area can jump in the vehicle if you do this. As you're driving around the Wardog, be careful for any grunts that will try to throw grenades in your direction. Otherwise, your main goal is just to try to take this part rather slowly. And I just about forgot about the turret that's at the end of this section. It's pretty easy to forget about it. If you have trouble with this last elite, if there happens to be one, what you can do is try to grab a plasma pistol and go for the plasma combo on him. And of course, make sure your war dog doesn't leave without you. Sometimes they can be a pain to deal with, your AI teammates. If you happen to use up most of your beam rifle, grab the one that's in the tower from the jackal you killed earlier. As you approach this section, go ahead and target the elite that's on the watchtower, and then try to target any enemies that you see at ground level. There will be one ghost in this section, and if you can take him out from a safe distance, uh, you shouldn't have, shouldn't be too big of a headache. But then you'll have some ghosts that the Phantom Dropship will deploy. And these ghosts can be a bit of a problem, especially if you don't have your passenger available. Once the first two ghosts from the Phantom are down, two more will enter the area. Just try to play a little bit of a count and mouse game with these guys. Try use the hill or whatever buildings that you can find for cover. And your gunner should do a fairly decent job of handling the ghosts. And then once the ghosts are down, the phantom should leave.
And then once all the enemies are down, you can proceed into the next area. The carrier just launched a wave of pods. They're inbound on your position. Once you come to this area, you can disembark from the war dog and come to the top of this building and grab yourself a rocket launcher. What you want to do is try to shoot the guns off the Phantom, and you only need to shoot two of them in order for it to leave. Usually a couple of drop pods will deploy some elites into the area. So just try to play it safe by sitting at the top of this building and let them come to you. Once they're down, go ahead and target the Jackal Sniper in that tower. And that'll be the last Jackal that you'll, or the last Sniper that you'll have to deal with on this mission. If it seems all clear, go ahead and hop in the War Dog. And what you can do at this point if you want, you can try to arm your Marine with a Rocket Launcher. Otherwise, you can just hang on to it until you get a fresh War Dog. And what I'll do once again is park the war dog against this building so the marines can't drive off with it. And you want to get fairly close so that they don't have enough wiggle room. What I would recommend doing here is trying to take out the ghost before you advance on the elites. If you run out of ammo for the rocket launcher, there is some more ammo down below in the building. And here's the extra stash of ammo for the rocket launcher. Hey, punch it, mate. And just like that, that'll be the final enemies, aside from this one last elite. That'll be the last of what you have to deal with outdoors. This tunnel links up to the bridge. It's full of rats, if you know what I mean. But it beats swimming. I'm pretty sure that crate actually killed the elite and it wasn't me. I didn't see I got credit for it, but whatever. I've been analyzing the Covenant tactical chatter. They're surprised, confused. I don't think they expected us to be here. Not you and me. All of us. Humanity. As soon as you cross the loading zone, a fresh warog will spawn in behind you. Now I'd recommend trying to get this wardog in your possession.
And what I would do is try to get a good distance away from your original war dog. Or at least until someone gets in the passenger seat. And then arm this marine with a rocket launcher. And he's going to be a big help for the last stretch of this level. Just try to take this part slowly. And hopefully your marines don't accidentally kill each other. But the goal is to try to focus on the heavy stuff. And now if something like that happens where... Or even something like that, that's even worse. Sometimes your marines will be fairly cooperative, other times not so much. Just try to be aware of any moments where they could be in a blind spot where they could fire down and hit a surface. And then for this wave of drones, just try to keep a safe distance on these guys. You can actually get out and try to snipe a few of them if you wish. It actually makes this quite a bit easier to deal with. Again, up here, more or less some of the same, you'll just have to deal with another turret. And then usually there will be an elite that will take position behind the yellow bus. But if you draw him out, you can either try to snipe him or let your teammates handle him. As you get to this open area, what you can do is just way around here and take out the ghosts. Again, just try to play a cat and mouse game, keep these vehicles in front of you. And your marines should handle them quite easily. Up ahead here you'll have a bunch of elites that are holding position at this checkpoint. Just try to keep a good distance once again and let them do all the work. And if you can, cut off this warthog and if you need a fresh warthog at this point, go ahead and trade weapons with your marine and get in that vehicle if possible. Otherwise, you can just try to work with this current war dog if the other one drives off. But the goal is for this part that the other war dog will serve as a decent distraction. Now my marine there definitely threaded the needle with that uh, rocket launcher. But you want to allow your marines to take care of the gunner right away so that they can target the vehicle rather easily. And 
both the gunner and the rocket man in the passenger seat will be able to take out these shadows. Hopefully without too much damage as long as you hit the turrets right off the bat. And just around this bend will be one final shadow. Again, just try to use the same tactic as before. And as you reach towards the end of this highway, what you can do is try to hop out of the war dog and see if you can take care of some of these ghosts. There will also be a grunt stationed on this turret. Make sure to take him out before you advance too far ahead. And there will also be one further to the right. After you get the Covenant's attention a little bit, then you can focus on taking out the remaining ghosts and infantry. And there will be three ghosts on this part. And then you'll just have one elite that will be over by this uh, unmanned shadow. And that will be the end of this level. So there you go, that will be the end of Outskirts. Uh, kind of a tricky level, I had a particularly hard time completing this mission because of some of the randomness that can occur with either facing the enemies or with dealing with your uh, marine allies. Sometimes you can die from really bizarre circumstances on this level. So that's something to really keep in mind, but overall it's not too bad of a mission outside of the first half where you're on foot. So thank you guys for joining in on this episode. I really appreciate all the support that I'm getting as I'm working towards finishing these guides. Hopefully I can get most of them completed before Halo Infinite launches. Not this particular game, but most of the Halo games. But hopefully I will see you in a future episode or uh, you can check out any of my past guides for Halo Combat Evolved or Halo Wars.